I'm here in Studio E and I'm getting an offline message on the C24. So I have a Pro Tools session, but the C24 is offline. First thing you want to do is go up to Setup, Peripherals, and go to the Ethernet tab. So up here, we're going to put a check mark next to Enable and choose USB and have it run through the cycle. Seven times out of ten, this will fix it, so we'll see what happens. After it's done running, choose C24, and the C24 should come online after that. Then you can hit OK. We'll run through the firmware, and it should be OK after that. Come over here. You can see it's defaulted to the mute position, so if we unmute that. All you need to do is hit what I'm monitoring. In that case, would be main. And hit play. We now have audio through the speakers. You should say C24, and that is not working. So the next thing we need to do is reset the C24, and this is a little bit bigger step. So hit cancel out of this and close Pro Tools. The C24 is made by Focusrite and Avid, but it makes the loudest pop when it restarts. So you have to turn the speakers off or they will make a very, very loud pop. So while Pro Tools is shutting down, I'm gonna come here and in the back, turn the speakers off of all the monitors. Shutting down? Yep, it's shut down. Cool. Okay, then we're gonna restart the C24 and you have to hold these three, select, solo, and mute. If you hold those down when this is restarting, it will reboot the C24. So we're gonna do that now. The easiest way is this power supply right here. So when I turn that off, it's gonna turn the computer off, the Toft is already off, and it's gonna turn the C24 off, and the speaker's already off. We've now turned this off. Can you hold those three buttons? Yep. Now when we turn this back on, it will reset. Hold them for a second. Now we're going to power back the computer on. We'll take a second to power everything back on. You can see now the C24 is back online. It's responding to solo moves. And the only thing I need to do is turn the monitors back on.